Welcome back to Title Queen at the Movies with Steve Hayes. Thanks for joining us. Thanks to all of our subscribers. And uh, let's go see Steve. Johnny! Boy! <laughs> oh, uh, title... Ah! Title Queen at the Movies. <laughs> Johnny, I wanted to do a comedy. So I'm recommending Judy Holiday in Born Yesterday, 1950, directed by George Cukor and starring Judy Holiday, William Holden, and Broderick Crawford. Now, Judy Holiday had done this on Broadway thousands of times. It was a play by Garson Kanan. It was originally scheduled to star Jean Arthur, and the last minute she pulled out and Judy got the role. Hey, Billy! <laughs> sort of in the tradition of like Jean Harlow and those kind of characters, but it was taken one step beyond. Not bad, huh? Sorry. And it's about her, it's sort of a Cinderella story about her education. She's the gun mile of this guy, tough guy who's made his money in junk, played by Broderick Crawford. He goes to Washington to, to wheel and deal some big money. And he hires William Holden to come in and, you know, kind of r smooth out his girlfriend's rough edges, you know, and learn her how to talk good, you know. So Judy Holliday takes a young friend right away. She says to him, <clears throat> Are you one of these talkers or would you be interested in a little action? So I got a yen for you right off. Well, you know. <laughs> She's so adorable. And if you want a tip, I'll tell you sweet toffee. I like it. There's a classic, classic scene in this where she plays cards and they're playing gin rummy. And she's playing with Broderick Crawford and he's just trying to concentrate on his cards and she's absolutely, you know, nonplussed. And she starts saying, nah, nah, nah. Boom, boom. Nah, nah, nah. And he's getting more and more upset. Do you mind? Jim. It's the, like, comic stuff that's gone all the way up to All in the Family with Edith and Archie. I mean, they, it was just taken right from this, you know. Billy! William Holden had had a huge year. He'd done Sunset Boulevard, he did this movie, and he was well on his way to a whole, the 1950s being one of the big romantic stars, and he was great in comedy. Broderick Crawford, who hardly ever got a chance to do comedy, had just won an Oscar for All the King's Men, and because Paul Douglas, who had done the part of Harry Brock on, on Broadway, for some reason turned down the role, Broderick Crawford got it. And it was really, really a coup to have all these three talents right at the peak of their abilities in this one movie, and Cukor knew how to direct comedy. Even everybody down to the smallest little parts are just absolute heaven. Said I'm sentimental, like you say. Well, I think we're all a bit sentimental. Uh, yeah. <laughs> well, it's a free country. <laughs> This was one of the toughest years in the history of the Academy. The best actress nominees were Betty Davis and Ann Baxter in All About Eve, Gloria Swanson in Sunset Boulevard, Eleanor Parker in Caged, and the final winner, Judy Holliday in Born Yesterday. She went back to Broadway. She made some occasional movies, not as many as, as I wish she had. And she did a bit, she got a Tony Award for the musical Bells Are Ringing, and then she died, unfortunately, when she was very young. This is just one of the most sublime, beautifully crafted comedic performances ever captured. Sit back, have a good laugh, and watch Judy Holliday in Born Yesterday. Mwah! Let's all go to the lobby. Let's all go to the lobby. What's a peninsula? She'll say, it's that new medicine. Get ourselves a treat. 